Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Travis Simulan Sowers bringing you another traditional best of three Zendikar Rising draft. Chat, say hello to YouTube. If you would like to watch the stream live, you can do so at www.twitch.tv slash Simulan. And as you can tell, the goals we have set for ourselves are going on and on up. Uh, we just moments ago unlocked eight hour Saturday streams which frankly should probably be in an extra YouTube draft every week too, right? Like, why not? So I think Twitch chat unlocked more YouTube content for you. There's a lot of solid cards here. I, I think I could see an argument uh, for Thought Thief into the Royal and Shadow's Verdict, but it's Thwart the Grave for me. Uh, this just leads into what I want to be doing, which is grindy Golgari decks anyway. I still have a preference for that. If I can't get it, I'll try something else. And I suppose saying I have a preference for it isn't quite fair. I've just noticed that green is often very open. Uh, but we'll, we'll play black with whatever's open. Uh, or potentially get into another color pair entirely. But Acquisitions Expert is an excellent follow-up to Thwart the Grave. Uh, because it's something that can come down early. It trades with a surprising amount of creatures in the format. Like there's a 3-1, there's 2-1s all over the place. Uh, so being able to block, it carries a counter very well, and it's certainly fun to bring back. Uh, so it's always a one-for-one, one, and it's, it's kind of close to more than that sometimes. Yeah, Shadow's Verdict can be quite good. It's also a very unique effect, which I can appreciate. Uh, the Gecko isn't exactly what I want to be going into my green-black deck. It's not a bad card, and it could be a sign that green is open, although it may uh, specifically be green-blue that's open. I, I don't count Pack Beast as fixing. Like, I think depending on a 2-mana 1-1 one, one for your fixing is, is a bad time. They subtle strike it or just play a 3-2 and, and you're in trouble. Like, that's not legitimate fiction, fixing. That's emergency fixing. I've played it in 3 and 4 color decks before and used it to fix. Uh, but moving on, I, I think Gloom Hunter's the pick for me. It does a nice job of cutting black. It's not great. I'm not excited to be third picking it, but I would like to settle into black if I can. And then here's where we should see another color that's open. And it, it's basically pushing us to make the decision right now. We've got a bug catcher, we've got a gnarl rid colony, and we've got a field research. I'd like to avoid blue. Uh, we passed the blue-black rogue, so I don't think we're going to get a ton of uh, rogues coming back in the next direction. I definitely have a preference for green, but I respect the bug catcher. My concern is that that's never open, and Golgari always is. Like the last time I didn't draft Golgari, we got past green mythics. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather set myself up for this to be open. It's not Golgari or bust. I can pick something else next and regret it. What, what deck is this card good in? Because I can't really think of one where you'd want to play it. Can you guys chat? This build around on common, what color pair would it be for? Because like black-white is clerics, blue-black is rogues. It's always medium. <laughs> Let me show you a thing or two. Because this is coming together very nicely. We're right where I want to be now. Well, if by exactly where I want to be, you mean with absolutely no man removal, then yeah, other than that, we're good. Uh, this guy's fine, and I think we'll have enough party peoples based on the thwart the grave that I'll be interested in it. Alrighty. We've got Stomper, Baloth, and Aesthetic coming around. I got to take the Vastwood Fortifications. If you watched the last draft here on Twitch, uh, we won a game with Vastwood Fortifications. It was nice. And taking up a land slot is nice, too. But we're seeing good green playables come around late, which pleases me. And here's one of the other kind of crucial cards for the Golgari deck. Uh, is the other cat. Like, we can potentially find a beetle and really get some stuff going here. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. Like, I'm not forcing Golgari, but green is usually open. And black's really good. Like that last draft, I was actively trying to draft red-green, but I just couldn't get into it. 
I don't think we're going to abandon. We're also probably not going to play that. But we can take it for signaling porpoises. Brute we can play in a pinch. It's a party, people. Zendikon I'm usually pretty happy with. And we'll know that we've done everything perfectly if we see a Hagra Constrictor in the next pack. Oh, spare supplies we can play. That's the thing is, this deck just wants a bunch of cards that other ones don't. I didn't get the Hagra Constrictor. That makes me sad. Y'all stay out of my colors, please. Now, there's a, a happy day for clerics, but the good news is, like, this will all be spread out around three packs and nobody's getting the Deadly Alliance, because I think having a piece of removal would be nice. That'll up the Marasa Brute in the deck consideration, uh, but I'd really rather have the uh, Survivors as my two drops, so we can at least get this to four. But that, that's pretty easy Deadly Alliance for us. I, I don't think we're looking to go in any other directions. Well, hello there. I kind of want the Vanquish, the, the second Vanquish, the, the first Vanquish the week over the first Deadly Alliance. I'd really have to push the party line to make that work. And I, I kind of don't want to. I want to do things with cats and Zendikons and stuff. There's a chance I see a Deadly or a uh, Vanquish the Week later. I, I haven't really seen Deadly Alliance wheel lately. But it is what it is. I think we're happy with the Vanquish here. I would consider grabbing this just for the off chance we find a Cleric, uh, but the, the Gnarl Red's too good for us. There's some chance we wield the Sentinel out of this pack. Some chance we wield this, but I'd say that's unlikely. I think I like having the mix, Rocky, especially considering there are aggressive decks out there. There's people that want to kill us. So we can consider a Royal Eruption on the Splash. Uh, the two-drop slot's looking pretty good, so I don't think we're going to need a Nectar Pot, although we'd certainly play one. Uh, the Shadow Cat says we'd like a Hagra Constrictor, but I probably want exactly one, and I should be able to find it later. So I think I can take this Eruption pretty safely and then decide later if we want to splash it or not. If our Removal Suite's good enough, I don't really have to. If it's not, we can. A Broken Wings just comes on in. I, I would like a Silencer at some point, too. Um, generally speaking, when I'm playing Thwart the Grave, Silencers are okay, but not here. I feel like green's getting cut a little bit here, and red isn't. Uh, but this spike field hazard could be interesting for us. If we splash, I would need to play one mountain, one reclaim the waste, and then I get access to a spike field hazard and a royal eruption. That doesn't seem too bad to me. And it could lead us towards just playing straight up Jund if the mana's good enough. All right, again, kind of interested in the Hagrid Constrictor. I'm also kind of interested in the Stomper. But I, I think it's time to fill out the curve. I, I want the Constrictor. It's pretty good with the cat. Okay. This may have been a case where red was actually more open than green, and Golgari Theory hurts me a little bit. I think it's probably too late to switch to... Which sucks. Yeah, red was more open this time around. I don't really need two Hagra Constrictors. Oh, I really don't like the McLord, though. I have played two Hagra Constrictors before. I can at least bring the second one in when I'm on the play. Yeah, red was open here. I have some regrets. But I think we'll live. We're probably short one Blood Beckoning, one Reclaim the Waste from a deck that's playable. And we've still got another pack. 
if we get a horn beetle the second constrictor is fine but we, we're in this weird mix of wanting to pick party cards and wanting to pick animals that trigger these things yeah the red deck that could have been would have been quite nice uh, but I, I think the world we're living in we're pretty happy with feed the swarm as a one of we can do that Florahedron's a nice pickup. I'm usually very happy with one of those. I'd also be quite happy with the Arbor Mage and the Strike. My question is, do I need to take the Arbor Mage um, to A, get a Mage in the deck, and B, have an out late game? And I think the answer might be yes. Because that's kind of a unique effect. If you have a board and you're stalled, which this deck can sometimes do. Yeah, I think I need this bloody Arbor Mage. I, I really want to take the Florahedron. I like it a lot. But I, I think I need this effect. What? I mean, not for us. But all of a sudden, the second Hogger Constrictor is starting to look like something we can play here. I'll take it. Now, I guess I can, I can. I don't have to have a blood beckoning because we have this thwart. So we can deal with that. I, I don't think I want to splash red off of a lithoform blight. And even if I do, I should wheel that. So something we don't have access to here would be a sky dancer. I've got filler cards. I'm not really looking for a priest. It's an option. I just don't think it's one I want to take. This is an awkward spot, too, because I really like the Visionaries, but I think I need to just take this uh, Bright Blade. Yeah, I do. If I get lucky and see a late Blood Beckoning, we can do something with it. Well, now I feel kind of stupid, because that, that would be fine normally, but I think we're in a position where I might just need a Dreadworm to close out a game. I don't want to play the Dreadworm. It's, it's going pretty stable right now, Chrono. I think I need this Dreadworm. Well, that'll do. <coughs> sure. Don't mind if I do. So green was contested, but green-black was not which is interesting to me. I don't need a Zendikon main and one in the sideboard. Is there a chance we play Oblivion's Hunger as our last card? I think there's a pretty strong chance we do. It's decent here. It's decent here. It's decent here. It's decent with the bat. I think there's a strong chance we play that. Adventure awaits us. And if we decide we really need to bring in a royal eruption, we we have the technology to do so. Ooh, you need to. I need to find room for you. Yeah, blue green is usually contested. Yeah, I think I like this for the land split, and we'll just count this as a land. I think I can be okay with one Hagra constrictor because it's mostly there as like a falter style effect because I really like having one Dauntless Survivor in the deck. I, I think this can work quite nicely. This isn't the best Golgari deck I've ever drafted, but it's certainly not a bad one. We'll rock those Zendikar Slaves. And you know what? It makes me happy to use mismatching lands, so I'm going to do it and you can't make me stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. I was kind of expecting it to be bad, too, because the, the stat lines are kind of bad, right? Like, three mana for a 2-2 two -two is not impressive. Uh, but in the right deck, it can get some work done. But yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Let's uh, Let's see what we can do.
If you were watching on YouTube, you should be aware that yesterday was election day in the United States as I'm recording this. And I stayed up too late looking for results that didn't come in. And then jolted awake two hours before I meant to, to look at results that hadn't come in. As of now, we still don't know. But I'm playing on a little bit of a sleep deficit today. Which is not a problem I'm going to win anyway. I'm just saying if I didn't, I got an excuse. This hand kind of just wants to flood out, which is nice. I've had a lot of hands that didn't want to flood out that did. Yeah, I'm game. Pop it. You're welcome to PM me on Discord. Please don't send me a message in the Twitch message system. As soon as I get one, it blow. Well, as soon as I open it, it wrecks my dashboard. But I assume that once there's actual news, chat will let me know keyboard. But I do appreciate it. Are we friends on Discord? We should be friends on Discord. We've got another Golgari drafter with matching lands. Ew. We should be friends on Discord if you're on Discord. Did it, Reddit? This can come back. Well, I'm still con a little concerned about a mine rot, and that's something I wouldn't mind discarding. I think I still go with the survivor here. Like, it's just two menace creatures. And, like, a mine rot doesn't crush me here. I still wouldn't say it's great. What you, uh, what you working with over there? Just out of curiosity. Get back in! Exclamation point Discord, Donnie. Worm and a shade. Having played against Black Green before and played it a lot myself, I'm a little more worried about the Sky Cat. I think I do. I think I do. Just, oh, I can't. Okay, then I don't. It's okay. I really don't want to get mine rotted. Welcome back, Donnie. OK. 
kind of just looking for land here and then try to close things out with the worm. I mean, that's probably their plan as well. They're in a little bit of trouble if that's their line. I think I'm still supposed to be playing these out because there's a chance we can just overwhelm them. I use they if you don't mind, Chrono. But yeah, if they don't answer the flyer, we could get somewhere. Oh, goodness, a cute swarm. This will not do. So we swing team here. They eat this dude. Yeah, I still don't think I'm quite ready to swing team. They got them loops, yo. Man, a land would be nice. But I don't need one because they're dead. Yes, it just took me a minute to recognize it. That's the sleep deprivation, yo. I believe they begin to realize their fate. Like I said, Hagger Constrictor is mostly a falter, and it's certainly doing a decent impression of that here. Y'all gotta stop drafting my Golgari stuff. I want more busted decks. Don't listen to Golgari theory. Fight. We got this. Tis but a one star. We got this. All right, we got Grumpy with the kills, me with the assists. Go me. Gold for Duke, Michael, Fort, and Erberk. And we're moving along to that blue chest. All right, I'll form a line and we'll tank from back here. And I'll let you guys handle the rest of the strategy. So in mirror matches, I don't have a lot going on here, but I know that the Sky Dancer is usually good at poking in for damage, but it's also can be bad because like we know they've got at least a couple thwart or not thwart the graves, uh blood beckonings. 
which is concerning concerning I think I leave it alone on the draw and on the play I bring in the other Hagrid Constrictor because I, I think that's my benefit is that I can get Menace going a little easier than they can because they've got the long game. I can't try to grind this opponent out. I have to be the aggro deck. Uh, which means this is going to be incredibly difficult, right? We're the aggro deck on the draw. Yeah, that screams a nice touch to Stream Raiders. I'm glad they put that in there. You get to 1k subs and we have a stupid vaccine. We need to have a SimCon meetup. We will see. Yeah, this is incredibly awkward because I don't want to be killing this. But I think I have to. Like, not for the two damage, just to try to get back even. Some con meet up in Nova Scotia. We'll see how the election goes. Kind of have to take this now. Now I can block it. I hope he does, man. You stop it. That's not very nice. Is that the right call? Because I'm thinking we get back a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I think it's the right call. I need to stabilize. Which is, again, kind of unfortunate. We've done the cool thing our deck can do, and it was just to try to stabilize. And it gets wrecked by, like, multiple commons in the color pair. That just kills me. This kills the Travis. Yeah, I don't want to wait weeks either, man. I think it requires cards that I don't have to get out of this now. Yeah, this is basically game over. Provided they hit a land. If they don't, we can trade these, block with this, maybe draw something else. Which means I frankly should have played the Swamp. But if they hit a land, I'm just dead anyway, right? I don't want to show him the Zendikon if it doesn't do anything. It's too late to matter. All right, so going back on the play, I do think we want to bring in the other Hagra Constrictor. I think I'd like that very much, and I don't think I need the Broken Wings. We've played two games and haven't seen 
um, either a cleric or a gloomy or anything like that from them. Not even a sky dance or no artifact. So that, that seems like a pretty easy cut. Frankly, I probably should have cut that for the sky dancer on the draw and then brought cut it for the constrictor on the play again. Because it just leads to good openers where we've got stuff with counters on it, right? I, I guess it kind of has to start with Survivor, but that's not a bad place to start. I am a bit introverted, but I do like getting to hang out with stream viewers and fans. Most of them have turned into friends. Like at, at the various GPs back when I used to go to those, I would have a good time hanging out with people. And most of them I didn't know before I went there, right? It's funny, somebody would come up and introduce themselves by their first and last name, and I'd kind of shake their hand and look confused. And then they'd tell me a screen name, and I'd be like, I know you! I remember one of the first GPs I went to uh, was GP Montreal. It wasn't one of the first, but it was the first I really traveled. No, I really traveled for some before that. But this one rung with me. It was like one of the first ones after I'd started streaming. And uh, I was staying with my friend Martin, and Kenji was staying with Martin's friend Frank. So at the end of the day, the four of us were kind of standing around, waiting, getting ready to leave. And just a line of people would come through and say, Kenji, I love you, Kenji, I love you, Kenji, I love you. And about every 10th one would look at me and say, you're the guy with the cat, right? It's like, heck yeah, I'm the guy with the cat. was good times. I wish I could tell you, Destiny, but we're going to think about magic cards for a little bit and try to woosah. Trying to set myself up where we're really happy if we draw a land. They got more than visionaries, though. That's a little scurry. We didn't draw the land. And this makes for a bit of a sad Travis. But I can at least do something next turn and create infinite chump blockers. And land is still good.
Land's a little less good with him having a Scythe Cat in play. I think this means I want one Chomp Blocker and Oblivion Strike up. Because this makes land for them just draw that again. Which I don't think is great. Yeah, I still need to hold that back. I mean, are you surprised, Andy? For I am not. All right, we got a couple things we need to kill now, which is a little bit of an awkward spot to be in. It's a real awkward spot to be in. I think I can swing here now, but it is uh, kind of terrifying. I have to deal with a 3-3 lifelinker. We still got Arbor Mage, right? Like Arbor Mage off the tops, pretty much just a win. Yeah, I think chilling is the way to go. Right now we chill. Everything's done. We're just waiting for the results. Scotty said earlier it's like waiting for a test result. An unfortunate time to be tapped out. I should have attacked with this too, that was just bad. Might be able to overwhelm them next turn. Let's see. It probably would have been easier if I'd attacked with this. Yeah, math is hard, but we're going to have to do some here in a minute. They're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to take four, five, six, seven, eight, which is not enough. I can get it to nine. Uh, that said, I'm going to have at least one point of trample. I think I actually do have this, don't I? I certainly would if I'd attacked the turn before. 
There's no reason to do that now. I can do it on my turn. That makes the math a little easier. Right, but is optimal, doesn't matter, they're dead. One power creature is optimal. If they were going to do this, they needed to do it before. Because imagine they draw it, uh, Subtle strike off the top. They could have sacked this to draw a card. Yeah, that, that was actually an argument to put it on anything that doesn't die to subtle strike. Because, like, we've got infinite power. I didn't see that line. So they, they had a tiny chance. Uh, I don't think there's anything instant speed that could have gotten the Dreadworm. I guess with it being indestructible, maybe. Yeah, I, I think I, I should have just added up the power and recognized that it doesn't matter where we put it, we win. All right, sorry to do this, YouTube, but I do need a quick potty break. Uh, chat will keep you entertained by spamming emotes. Yeah, I actually just played it perfectly orcish. I was just letting other people feel smart. Y'all spam some emotes so they can see them in the window. I'll be right back while you place your units, and we'll play the next round. Thank you for the emote wall, my friends. That is much appreciated. All right, let's do the next round, shall we? Shall we? Those are some good emotes. Sounds like a plan, Doctor. I can get behind that. This Gloom Hunter always ends up being a two drop, which ain't exactly what I want it to be doing, but. How much better would it be if it was a zero zero that came into play with one counter? And if you kicked it, it came into play with three. <laughs> Thank you, Sparrow. I think I'd still rather curve than Acquisitions Expert. 
but we'll see how that works out. Discard the hand size? That's rough. Again, I think we're going with that curvy play. Remember shaving? I remember shaving. I don't need this right now. I need to get them when they try to double block me. It totally works. Well, I hope your beard trims up nicely. Kaboom. Their head explode. Our sub count has rocketed to 370. From one of those resubs earlier, and the skin goal in Stream Raiders has bumped up to 33. So we are at 403 in our goal currently, which is kind of banana as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'll also mention the Stream Raiders, if you purchase the $10 ones, they count for two of the points, was my thinking. What do we want different against uh, blue-black? Like, we didn't see much of their deck, but we can guess some of what's in here. Like, this looks like a rogue deck with a really awkward start. Snarecaster's usually okay. We saw a couple cards that Snarecaster would be okay against, and Zendikon's okay as well. I could see cutting the Constrictor here, actually. But... Yeah, four days into the month. Dude, try three. It's Wednesday, right? Isn't today Wednesday? I don't know what day it is. It's a lot of flyer hate, but it is pretty dang good against them. I think the Bright Blade may just be a liability. Today is Wednesday? Neat. I did not see that. Although I've watched her play Among Us some, she's actually a really great streamer. This hand is not really great. But it kind of only needs one green to do something, so we'll give it a try. But I'm concerned about it. Meow. 
That's not very nice. I often say that when you go on the draw, you basically start at uh, 15 life. I don't know why they didn't attack there. I guess they they really want to trade, but that's fine by me. We can just go next turn with removal spells up. Tempest is one I haven't seen in a while. Okay, fine. Oh, that's not the one I expected them to bounce. Interesting. So I do need wings and um, alliance here. So I think that means the scythe cat's probably out this turn. Let's see how they block here, because I presume they're going to block. Because I might use Deadly Alliance, I might use the Oblivion's Hunger. They might also just take it, which is fine too. Like This is like I get to draw a card, except the card is a 5-5. Five five. That seems fine by me. I can even conceivably save this land for the dude. Which I think is fine. And we've still got the alliance in case they double block again next turn. Really feel like taking that. I think we go here and then kick this because they kind of have to double block it now. And that just gives us a lot of board presence. It also gives our scythe cat trample because it has counters on it. That's the big brain play. Someone drew a blood beckoning. Silencer for two. That's actually just better than the Zendikon here. They don't have any blocks.
This looks lethal to me, right? Like they block the two biggest things. They still take some trample damage. They take six, seven, eight, nine. So a bounce spell here would be kind of bad. But we're probably still advantaged after a end of the Royal. I guess Bane Veil vale would kind of be the worst case scenario. And I think even then we still leave them with just one creature. But I, d I don't think we're going to get, I don't think it's going to get better. Veil vale is two CMC, one in a blue. I think they actually had just have an end to the royal though. Royal is non land. They could bounce the Zendikon. That doesn't do a whole lot though. I mean, maybe they're going to stay classy. That's a, that's always an option. I got nowhere to be. I'm already home, so this is fine. They don't have a Bane Veil, because it's a pretty bad block if you have a Bane Veil. Well, actually, maybe it's not the worst. You have good matchups at home. Yeah, it was an end of the Royal. And that still leaves him pretty hurting. I don't see much other than a Bane Veil that could even get them back into that game with like a two drop and a Bane Veil maybe. And even then, they're just not in great shape. All right, looks like we're ready for another Stream Raiders battle and looks like I need to update it. So pardon me for just a second. These updates are important. As they let us get new skins and new maps, but mostly the skins. What do we get? Traitorous Greed. That was a fun one. We did some fun things with that in Hobble Friends in the last set. I still think I liked the core set better than Zendikar Rising, frankly. I'm going to let the Stream Raiders update go through and fight the battle. Unless it takes too much longer. In which case, I'll get grumpy at them. But how do you guys and gals feel about Zendikar Rising as a draft format? Is this in your top five, your top ten? Are you having more fun with it, less fun with it? I feel like it's a little higher variance than the magic I'm used to, which leaves me having a little bit less fun because I'm I like winning. Best since Dominaria, I can believe that too. I didn't really like Dominaria that much. I have to live through me if you want to draft. Fair. Yeah, because the social aspect is gone from Magic now. Dominaria Best of Three was fun. I played it some. Like, I'm a huge proponent of Best of Three. Now, I didn't play Theros, but I really liked Ikoria. Oh, God, I loved Ikoria. But again, my enjoyment of a format probably coincides with win rate. And I think Ikoria was the highest win rate I've had in a long time. 
not unhappy about that. People say that. I never played uh, Throne outside of bot drafting, so it's it's difficult for me to really have much of an opinion there. It was pretty miserable with bots. Just ended up with how many secret keepers did you get? We got it covered. Good job, boys and girls. Jimmy with the kills, Orcish with the assists. Scrolls for Knight, Shivan, and Duke. And I'm going to keep us moving towards this here blue chest. All right, I guess it's time to tank. Let's get tanking. All right, thank you for your patience, YouTube. Let's do the last round here. That'll work. All of Magic Post Revised Edition was a mistake for constructed... Constructed magic was a mistake. That's a hot tag, Destiny. I think I like it. Another black green deck, huh? No, okay, not a black green deck. Yeah, I don't want to buy the packs, though. I want to draft it. I will do some Kaladesh drafts when we get into uh, Kaladesh territory, which probably won't be too long. Sure thing. I do think I want to keep forcing damage. What else do I have to buy to get the three draft tokens? Is it packs? Because I don't want packs. Yeah, I don't want a bunch of packs. I have zero interest in that. If it was a bunch of cosmetics, I'd consider it. But it'd probably be cosmetics for Kaladesh, which I also don't really want. Don't you dare vanquish the weak me. I do not deserve that. But that's a bad deal, right, if I'm only interested in three drafts, because I can get... And I'm also just not paying real-world money for it. I'm losing a little value here on the tokens, but I think this is fine. If they have a counter spell, they're countering a, a threat that will be lethal over a couple turns, um, and this makes future token uh, generators more valuable you're paying more than you'd pay for three drafts yeah i don't think that's for me but i'll draft it 
we'll probably get some YouTube drafts and, and draft it for, I don't know, maybe we could do a couple drafts a day of it so I don't burn out on it. Who can't block? I don't think I want to feed the S Worm on a Brute. But if they're sitting on not much next turn, I may consider it. That shade's actually pretty scary. Baloth less so. Why are they killing all of my things? I wanted to have things. So probably need to trade here now and swarm the Baloth and try to race this is, is what we're looking at. And then we've got good top decks from there too, obviously, but Acquisitions Expert's not a bad one because they've only got three cards. We get to peek at two of them. Hey, that's a pretty good one. That one's probably better, frankly. Damn, it's dead. Well, shame for them, not for me. Ouch! I am no longer top decking like a pro. I'm going to need something like um, Ward the Graves to get back in this. Okay, that's not technically dead, so we'll take it. Top decking is a fart. I just still don't know how I get out of this. It still probably starts with Fort the Grave. But I don't have a Reach creature for their bat. Yeah, that's tough. They got some good rares in Mythics. I think they've probably got a little bit better removal too. And I didn't quite get as much recursion as I'd like. Nearcaster, interestingly, isn't particularly good against that 3-1 because you kind of just want to ignore it. What is good against that 3-1 is a spike field hazard so that I can just get rid of it. I'm just not sure how much I can warp the mana to fix up, fit something like that in because I, I don't have any land searchers. This is a place where if, if I could, I would definitely bring that in. Like, we've got the option to try to sort of do it with Lithoform Blight, a Mountain, and that. But that seems really, really bad. I think on the play, I'm going to ignore it. And on the draw, I may really genuinely consider something like that. Like, there's not many ways to get rid of that thing forever. And I think the deck could probably handle having a mountain in it. And I've probably got some stuff that's so bad I could take it out with the Lithoform Blight. I do think we keep the wings, like there's a bat. But this this may be one of the things that comes out uh, when we go on the draw.
I think given that we don't even have a green, we're in the business of casting Gnarl Reds. And business is okay. I wouldn't call it good, but it's okay. Getting a little worse. can be a grown up. I think I'd like to keep it, because I can just Deadly Alliance that and still have a 2-2 two -two going. Because this, this is going to have to die now. It's got too many counters on it. Oh god, they could have Disruption. Well, then I can't do it this turn. They're sitting there representing Disruption, so I'm going to try to set them up in a race situation where they have to tap out, because I don't want Disruption to be good. Like, I, I realize there's one sitting here. That doesn't mean they don't have another. They obviously value the spell lands very highly. How do I race this now? How do I not draw the, any more green? I can't sit here and try to race this thing. I wonder if they were in my pod and that's why I didn't get any aesthetics. Because I usually like to have an aesthetic. It's such so awkward. Ow! Those aesthetics are so good. Like, you were planning to race? Sorry, brah. Get turned. Good day, Grand Magistrate. We did pass a Mimic. I think I'm just straight up dead here. This is not my idea of a good time. They're just buying this back. I think we had somebody else in the pod drafting our deck too because they've got uh, blood beckonings and I don't. Hallelujah. All my life I've been waiting to feed them an insect token and now I can finally do it. I think we may be in some amount of trouble.
They also got like 11 D rabid bites and I didn't get any. So I, I think we were competing with somebody for our deck. Because I don't think I have anything left to kill that Green Warden. Silencer's minus two? No, Silencer's minus one. But really all I got with it is kill a bug. That's incredibly unexciting, but we're at four. This is the world we live in right now. It's not a happy world. Ooh. Have a bug. But I think word has gotten out on Golgari theory. We may need to reevaluate. Because I think what was going on in our um, draft was supposed to be Red Black Party. This is so awkward. We did it. We were patient. We saved a land. And we made a 3-2. That is winning. Now all we need to do is draw six more lands and we can attack with it. will make that not die to subtle strike the only thing keeping us alive right now <laughs> it is now no longer keeping us alive I wonder if they just opened the mythic and decided to go into green for that alright we're getting there Oh no, they saw the line. Yeah. That's game over, man. We did what we could. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, thank you so much for watching the draft video. If you'd like to watch it happen live and see many, many two ones, you can do so at www.twitch.tv slash simulan. Chat, say goodbye to YouTube. Uh, it's a great time to come and check out the stream uh, because we're kind of in the middle of doing this subscriber drive thing. And they just unlocked Saturday streams for you guys, uh, which means there will probably be one more YouTube draft every week. I don't see any reason not to record an extra one. Uh, so thank you all for watching. GG's Paint.